we'll start with the motorcycle stuff. You know, first of all, you know, the gentleman that was in the fatal crash was not wearing his helmet. As a law, from a law enforcement standpoint, can you just talk about the maybe importance, kind of similar to seatbelts? Well, yeah, uh, in law enforcement, we see a lot of uh, crashes involving motorcycles, and, and uh, you know, speed's up. speed is a factor in the, the types of injuries that we do receive, but if people would wear their helmets, the injuries would be less. I, mean, I think deaths would be less. As with seatbelts, if people wear their seatbelts, we always we find more uh, lives being saved by seatbelts uh, being used. So the same with helmets. And what about um, with helmets? How you know? Do you think, from law enforcement standpoint as well, that motorcycle riders, especially maybe on like freeway use or things like that, Montana should have a helmet, a helmet wear type law? Well, it's it, it's the speed that 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 is really the dangers on, on motorbikes. We do have. Uh, Accidents in town with motorbikes, people don't recognize motorbikes as a vehicle and they will, they don't see them, but like they do see a car, so they crash into them. But the accidents on the interstate are mostly single vehicle accidents where they either go into a slide or lose control of their bikes. And a helmet at that speed, along with leathers and stuff, would prevent injuries. Yeah, let, so, and there is no, what is the law concerning safety and motorcycles as far as riders? What are they required? Uh, uh, adult riders are not required to wear a helmet in the state of Montana. How about uh, the surrounding states? Are there helmet laws? There are in surrounding states. Uh, there are helmet laws uh, in the majority of the surrounding states, I believe. Uh, and uh, bikes that are traveling across country will carry helmets with them. But sometimes when they get to Montana, they'll take the helmet off because there is no. And like you said, as a law enforcement officer, you would, what, how would you look at that? Like, I mean, I would prefer to see more helmets, yeah, I think, it, I think it's a safety issue and I think it would help save lives. And are your officers riding motorcycles when they're on patrol? Uh, yes, they are. We have two uh, motorcycle officers out there on patrol. And do they wear helmets? Yes, they do. They're required to wear helmets. In fact, they went to a full face helmet just this year for uh, more safety. Oh, they pull, so they wear the full face? They wear a full face helmet. So, and, uh, and, and Evil Can Evil Days is coming, so you're going to see a lot more motorcycles probably in town. Uh, Sturgis follows that, I believe. It uh, does, so it does. A lot of motorcycle traffic. I mean, does that, do you, is, do, you, do you, are you concerned, or does this historically cause an uptick in motorcycle accidents? Yeah, we'll get more uh, in our area, in the city area itself, we'll get a few more accidents where between vehicles and, and bikes. Due to the fact that, again, uh, when you're driving a car, you're looking for other cars coming, you're not really looking for bikes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll see more of those type of accidents. Um, as far as the interstates, I do believe they see more along the interstate. Uh, I really can't answer that question because I don't have those stats. But, but even in town, uh, what would you tell drivers then? I mean, motorists, uh, the car drivers, uh, uh, what, the, what should they do? You know, uh, what I do is when I stop the corner, I always look, say motorbike. I should tell myself. Myself, say look for a motorbike because, again, you have to make your a conscious effort to look for, for motorbikes when you're driving. Because you'll see the car. <laughs> you'll see a car, uh, just like people tell us about our motorbikes when they're running traffic. They don't see the motorbike traffic car traffic uh, vehicle. They see a uh, police car, but they don't see our motorbikes at all. Yeah, they're they're more so. I mean, they're just they're not. You just don't. Your mind isn't working that way. You're looking for the car, so but they and and they could be serious accidents. So people. Probably over the next few weeks, or well, the next two weeks, we're going to start seeing an uptick now. Yeah. Less uptick. Than Some of us, you see an uptick in, in all uh, vehicle traffic, and you see a real big uptick, uptick in Montana in motorcycle riding during the summer. Uh, just because they have this expensive toy that they have to use, and they yeah. want to get it out. It's a great time of year to ride. Great time of year to ride. And um, you just mentioned that you said summer months here in Montana, and you see an uptick um, or anywhere um, in, in vehicle accidents. Why do you think that is? Uh, again, uh, in the summertime, we have a lot more traffic coming through in Montana. Uh, you know, the biggest industry is tourism, so we have a lot of tourists coming through the state. Uh, so, and speeds are greater in the summertime than they are in the wintertime. So we will have uh, you know, more vehicles, more speed, so we do get uh, uh, some more accidents on the interstate. Cool. All right. Greater speeds due to weather, correct? Due to weather. Because they